didn't think I'd be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. Better hurry up and get into the dorms. What would I buy if I had enough money to build a whole dorm? Probably not a dorm. I should come hang around here during finals. Make everybody jealous. Drew's room definitely isn't this way. Just... Ugh. It doesn't feel different. I don't belong here anymore. It's not my school. I, uh, I don't have a school. But nothing feels different. Everything still feels shitty. And here I am about to break into the freaking dorm so I can steal money that Drew owes my drug dealer. This is gonna go great. Now that I'm gone, Steph might be the coolest person left at Blackwell. Besides Rachel, obviously. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Calamastia. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, 
Yeah. So, what are you doing here? Uh, I figured I'd see the Tempest. For real? You? Yeah, I know. It's not really my thing. Uh, <laughs> kinda hoping it's a shit show. What the hell? I'm the stage manager. Oh, I think I knew that. My bad. You better mean it. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. Obviously, Rachel's fantastic, but everyone else is pretty impressive, too. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay. I'm intrigued. Go on. Like, Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown, he's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban? <laughs> There's so much depth there. Right. Depth. Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh... I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... You think we're... together? You've been hanging out a lot, which I know might not mean anything, but I like to be extra careful about these things. I'm... Uh, I, I don't know. It's... It's... confusing. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe? You know you can, right? I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. Now that I'm gone, Steph might be the coolest person left at Blackwell. I'll see you at the Tempest, right? Why, yes. Chloe, of course you may look through that. Steph's really good at creating fantasy worlds. I can see why Mikey prefers them to his reality. Steph's probably biased, but she does have taste. Maybe the show will be good. Samuel. Blackwell's... Uh... Resident creepy groundskeeper. Huh. <laughs> That's some intellectual shit, Samuel. Such a nice white door. <sighs> Though, it feels like it's missing something, doesn't it? Too bad I can't. Nice work, Samuel. Such a nice white door. <sighs> Though, it feels like it's missing something, doesn't it? Too bad I can't tag it with Samuel standing right there. Hey, Samuel. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. 
Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. <laughs> what? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? What do you think of uh, Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber is a dragon made of diamonds. That's, uh, deep. <laughs> do you just make this shit up on the fly, or do you, like, write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels, or is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others? So, uh, what about Elliot Hampton? Have you seen him recently? I only see what Elliot wants me to see. Okay... Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want to keep hidden. What do I want people to see? Someone strong and fierce who does what she wants and doesn't care what others think. I don't care what others think. Of course you do. It's okay not to be okay, Chloe Price. I'm, uh... <laughs> Uh, looking for Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete, but he is more than that. He is? A great heart he has, with much love and no room for fear. <sighs> I've always thought he was kind of a bully. He may be that, too. No one is just one thing. I've got to go, man. Uh, it's been real. I often wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price. Evan's subject for the day. Better you than me, bird. Mm. <laughs> Blackwell Academy. Conserving water since never. There's Evan, putting his pretentious art above his sanity, <sighs> as usual. In a way, that's kind of badass. <sighs> what are the chances that to Drew's room definitely isn't this way? What are the chances that 200 years ago, some teenager got in trouble for carving faces all over the thing? Shh. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks... really ridiculous. Hey, uh, Evan? As intelligent as you look right now, you can still see that bird from where I'm standing. I appreciate your concern, but I want to get this shot exactly right. And I've learned something about myself recently. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. Forest fires, for example. You were the only person who signed my petition. I mean, seriously signed it. That's... pretty sad. I'm a low bar, but did you really expect people to care? 
People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? Evan, you're pretty stuck up. Did you know that? It's fine. The first sign of greatness is people disliking you. I anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. <sighs> There's Evan. Putting his pretentious art above his sanity, as usual. Come on. Locked. Look, figures. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But Evan is right there. Ah. You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. So tempting, but Evan will see me, for sure. <laughs> and he sounds like he's in the mood to get me in trouble. Max would have jumped on that photographer position. Hmm. <laughs> A new medium? Welcome to hell. I always knew that one day Miss Price would leave an indelible mark upon this school. I'll see you at the Tempest, right? Gotta get Evan away from that sprinkler.
You shouldn't be on campus, <sighs> Chloe. Such a nice white door. Though, it feels like it's missing something, doesn't it? Too bad I can't tag it with Samuel standing right there. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? Gotta get Evan away from that sprinkler. Hey! Shit. I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Time for a fresh start. Uh. Here we go. One small flight for this bird, one giant leap backward for Chloe Price. Almost there. Perfect. You're welcome. For once, Evan's obsessiveness turned out to be useful. A bird on top of a bird. Photo of the year, Evan. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. Who would have thought sprinklers would be the key to getting inside the dorms? Definitely cheers the place up. Sorry, Samuel. All right, time to find Drew's room. <laughs> <laughs> 